to or back to Osatium's channel. My name is Crystal. I am a certified yoga teacher trained in Mysore, India, based here in Atlanta, Georgia. Today we're going to be doing a session based on the solar plexus chakra and focusing on reducing anxiety. I'm going to go ahead and get started. So you can close your eyes and inhale deeply through the nose and exhale deeply through the nose. Again, deep inhale. Slow exhale. Long deep inhale. And slow exhale. Continue that breathing. We want to rest the tongue against the roof of the mouth. So you feel the vibration of the breath in the back of the throat and the breath becomes audible. This is your ujjayi breathing that we'll be using throughout the practice. I'm going to slowly open the eyes and inhale the arms up. Bring the palms together and exhale down. Again, inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. And exhale down. Inhale up, palms together, exhale down. We're gonna hold here. Once the hands come back to center. And just focus here on your breathing. I'm gonna talk a little bit about the solar plexus chakra. It is our personal power center. The center that we associate with our most authentic selves our identity. So a few of the things that we think about when dealing with the solar plexus chakra are trust, trust and judgment, worth, power, of course, and will will to do things, will to restrain from doing things, will to move, will to go, will to do. So as we move through this session, just think about those things that aren't moving the way that you need them to. The things that you aren't spending enough time on, the things that you're spending too much time on. Mm. And just pay attention to how you can better center your most authentic self in today's practice. I'm going to bring the hands onto the knees and exhale, fold forward, lifting the chest, hinging at the hip. And breathe here. And then we're going to curve the spine from here. Roll up. Curl the shoulders forward and breathe here. Again, chest up, shoulders open. Bend at the hip, fold forward. Curve the spine. Curl the shoulders forward and breathe here.
Last time, shoulders open, chest lifted, hinged at the hip. And curve. Rounding out the shoulders, pulling the very middle of the spine back. Now we're going to bring it back to neutral and switch the legs. So whichever foot is in front, bring that one to the back if you are in half lotus. Now we're going to lean in towards the left knee and roll towards your center. Back to the right and curve to the back. I'm going to do this for a few more rotations. When you come back to center to the back, we're going to switch directions. Moving in towards the right knee, rotating towards your center to the left knee, curving back. Right knee, center forward, left knee, curve it back. I'm going to do this two more times. After you curve, bring it back up to center. We're going to fold forward, coming onto the palms and into tabletop. From here, go ahead and push back into extended child's pose. Take a few breaths here. And we're going to push it back up onto the palms. Curl the toes under, push up, and back into down dog and pedal the feet. Then we're going to move right into our power poses. Oh. So kick the right foot forward between the hands. And we're just going to bring the arms straight up into warrior one. Breathe here. Mm. I'll bring the arms out to your sides. Lower that left hand down, right arm up towards the sky or the ceiling and focus on your breath here. Mm. Go ahead and lower that right hand down. Raise the back heel off your mat. Go ahead and drop that back knee. And we're just gonna breathe here. Lowering the hips every few exhales. Raise that back knee, flatten the foot, straighten up into pyramid. Holding forward into that right leg. And here we want to make sure that back foot is parallel to the short side of your mat or at a 45 degree angle. If you cannot bring the hands all the way down to the mat, don't come up onto the leg. Just make sure you're not resting on the knee. So you want to either be above or below the knee. Work with where you are always and focus on your breath. Uh, 
Now we're gonna slowly come up. Again, take the arms overhead, bend that front knee into warrior one. Open up into warrior two. In warrior two, we want the hips and chest facing center and the gaze focused over the right hand or whichever knee is bent. Stay focused on your breath here. Now we're gonna slowly lower that right elbow onto the right knee. Left arm up. Keep the shoulders stacked, chest open. And if you wanna stay here, you can, but there are a few options here. You can go ahead and lower that right hand all the way down to your mat. You can use the fist or the palm. If you have more space, if you're feeling more open today, and you want to take this deeper, you can bind this pose. Bring that top arm behind the back. And you can just grab the inner right thigh. If you want to take it even further, bring this right hand underneath and clasp the hands together. Again, pull that left shoulder back, open it up. That's not for me today, but I wanted to show y'all. Making sure the shoulders are stacked. Stay focused on your breathing. Go ahead and lower that left hand down. Bring the right hand down. Kick the right leg back into plank. We're going to hold here a few breaths, engaging the whole middle of the body. Our core from the belly around to the back. And breathe. And again, moving right into the power pose. We're going to do all that on the other side. Kick the left foot forward between the hands. Flatten that back foot. Send the arms up into warrior one. Make sure the hips are facing forward. And breathe here. to pull the chest back, keeping the upper body straight. Now we're going to lower the right hand down, send the left arm up. Breathe here. that left hand down. Raise the back heel off your mat, drop that knee. And again, just focus on breathing here, lowering the hips every few exhales, as much as you're comfortable with. And Maria Ujjayi breathing. Curl that back toe under, lift the knee, flatten that back foot, and we're going to bring it up into warrior one, and open up into warrior two, again hips facing center, gaze focused over that left hand this time.
And again, your steps, lower that left elbow onto the left knee, right arm up. Stay here if this is good for you today, or take it further. Lowering the left fist or palm. Lowering that right arm behind the back, or grabbing the inner thigh, or binding. Go ahead and lower that right hand down. Straighten that front knee into pyramid. You fold into it. Again, remembering you can bring the hands as high onto the leg as you need to. Work with where you are always. Again, we're gonna kick back into plank, activating the entire core from front, wrapping around to the back. All the way around the body, where that solar plexus chakra is located. We'll go ahead and drop both knees. Sit back onto the feet. Take a few breaths here. And we're gonna take this time just to focus in on how the body feels. What are you feeling emotionally? Where are your stress levels at? Where is your anxiety? Do you feel any power? Just, just pay attention to the body and the mind. Next, we're gonna move into our last few poses. Just some spinal twists, so. We're gonna pull the left foot into the body. Cross the right foot over. We want that foot to be flat, that top foot. And grab that left knee, excuse me, grab that right knee and twist towards your right side. So we're twisting towards the lifted thigh. And just breathe here. This form may look different for a few people. This feels good to me today and most days. If you want to do it the traditional way, cross that left elbow over to the outside of the right knee. Use that tension to pull and twist. And if you have more space, you can always tuck that hand under wrap the right arm below or behind you and clasp the hands together underneath that lifted knee. Just make sure you really get into that twist. Just massaging the internal organs in that area. Again, squeezing tension out of all of the internal organs in that area. Everything surrounding the solar plexus chakra. And the solar plexus. Bring it back to center. And we're gonna switch. So this time pull the right knee, the right foot in. Cross the left foot over, flatten that foot on your mat and twist toward your left. Again, whatever positioning feels good for you.
Hey, how y'all doing? <laughs> Slowly bring it back to center and release the legs. We're just going to take a few breaths here. Again, focus on how your body feels. I'm opening my hips here with the butterfly. You can do whatever feels good to you in this breathing time. And when you're ready, we're gonna go ahead and come towards the front of your mat. A little more core work. Again, just to focus on this area where the solar plexus chakra is located. We wanna give it some work, give it some energy, give it some heat. We're gonna lift the legs into boat pose. You can do this multiple ways. If that feels like a bit much for you, you can just come onto the toes today. It's a good practice to use the hands underneath the thighs for support. If you need to use a hand behind you, you can do that as well. If you do have more space or more strength here, you can start to straighten the legs. If this feels good for you, go ahead and release the hands and breathe. If your posture changes, like mine did here, work within your limits. Do what is needed for you today. And that might change every day. Might change hour to hour too. Then we're gonna slowly open up and lower down onto your mat. Lower the hands down. Go ahead and close your eyes. <laughs> From here, you're going to gently wiggle the fingers. Gently wiggle the toes. And then go ahead and relax the hands. And go ahead and relax the toes. Relax the feet and the ankles. Relax the calves and the knees. Relax the thighs and the glutes. Yeah, there we go. Relax the pelvis and the abdomen. Release any tension from the spine, starting from the lower back, the middle back, and the upper back. Open up the chest. And allow the shoulders to sink into your mat. Relax the upper arms and the elbows, the forearms, the wrists and the hands.
release any tension from the spine, starting from the lower back, the middle back, and the upper back. Open up the chest and allow the shoulders to sink into your mat, expanding the rib cage. Relax the upper arms and the elbows, the wrists and the hands. Release any tension from the neck and the jaw. Relax the cheeks and the eyebrows and the rest of the face. And focus on your breathing. Breathing deep into the belly, allowing the belly to rise as you inhale. And fall as you slowly exhale. Gently wiggle the fingers. Wiggle the toes. Rotate the hands in both directions. Rotate the feet in both directions. Turn the head to the left. Then to the right. Now raise your right arm and rest it on the mat above your head. Bring the left hand onto the belly and roll over onto your right side. Keeping the eyes closed. Slowly roll up into a comfortable meditative position. Take your time. Focus again here on your breathing. I want to take a deep inhale and hold that breath.
Release through the mouth. Again, deep inhale and hold. Release through the mouth. One more deep inhale. bring the hands and rub them together to generate heat and cup them over the eyes. Slowly blink the eyes open and bring the hands down into prayer over the heart. Namaste.